What were you doing when you found out you were nominated? I was in Australia with uh, the last uh, part of the Fleetwood Mac tour before Christmas. And I was in a hotel with my children and my wife. Got a phone call from the office and bingo. Mm -hmm. That's what I re remember. It was, uh, I, in truth, I had no idea or I'd forgotten that the album had even been submitted. Um, and it was, and had been. And so um, it was on the phone and I remember uh, certainly within a short space of time phoning Rick up and congratulating Rick because his, his work as a guitar player and as a, a vocalist and as an artist, it was just a really a cool thing. He's out the front doing this stuff, you know. Who was the first person you told? Oh, I just yelled down the stairs to my wife. Honey! Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 I, like Mick, I didn't even know that it was submitted and I was on the computer doing some other stuff. Someone sent me an email saying uh, the Grammys are announced tonight. And, uh, and I thought, well, I wonder who won. And I went down, and that was the first I really knew that we were even in contention. So, so you were surprised by it? Yeah, totally. Who's your date for the event? Uh, my wife, Lynn. Your wife. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, what about you, Rick? My wife. Your wife. <laughs> Probably disappointed they weren't. No, they, they haven't left us. Yeah. They haven't left us now because we're, we're at least nominated for yeah, a yeah. Grammy. Yeah, right. <laughs> They're hanging in there now. <laughs> Does being nominated change you or the group dynamic? It, to me, it, it absolutely, this, for this band, it, it's a tremendous shot in the, in, in the leg, in the arm, you know, uh, no doubt. And it's totally gratifying that the, the work that we've done is, is being acknowledged. And both me and Rick are thrilled. And, you know, we've sort of, been drifting around in in you know successful situations, uh, Lenny uh, Castellanos and Mark Johnstone necessarily haven't, although they've had their own journey and they're fantastic musicians. They are beside themselves, mm -hmm. and we're we're just thrilled to uh, to be acknowledged like this. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Mm -hmm. it's it's a it, and it's a, it's a great. Plus, I mean, on, on here, it's Grammy nominated now. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's a big question. Why do you deserve to win? Oh, what an awful question. Why do I deserve to win? <laughs> we deserve to win. It's a selfishly uh, awful question. Well, if being callous, because we're damn good. No. <laughs> uh, but I hope it's really, uh, truly, I hope it's uh, for the sensibility of the music that we play. And I, I make an emphasis on the sensibility of, of what we what we sort of, without getting all carried away, stand for in terms of the integrity of of who we are as musicians, I think is the most meaningful thing. Mm -hmm. And I would like to think that that is, if we're blessed with having such a wonderful event as winning, that would be why, you know, more than anything. Mm -hmm. how, how do you think the Grammys have traditionally dealt with the blues category? Well, you know, uh, a lot of the categories like the blues and the Americana, uh, you know, it, it's not given the same uh, credentials, uh, I, I would think, as, as the song of the year and the artist of the year and the album of the year and such, you know. But, you know, uh, the fact that, that, that it's still in there and still, still being there. recognized, you know, it's a, it's a good thing because it, it's... It, it, should never go away. It, it, this kind of music should always be recognized as, as with Hawaiian music and Norteño music and, you know, all these other parts of, of the quilt, you know, that make, that make up our American music. Do you have any standout misses from this year's nominations, do you guys think? Anything that kind of went unrecognized that you thought should have been nominated? Hmm. I can't think of anything. In this category? Or in any or category, anything. yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, I hadn't actually paid enough attention to, I, I truly I don't n go around thinking who, who should be applauded because I'm just sort of not that type of a creature, but mm -hmm. uh, it's an interesting point. I can't give you an answer where I think, you know what, there's someone's been really overlooked here and, mm -hmm. and this is mm -hmm. this person. Yeah. And, and I'm sure there could be, you know, given a, an hour to think about it, but um, it, it, it's, it's all, one, one thing that, that I do like about the 
like Rick was speaking to, the lesser um, heard about categories uh, that are there, and I applaud that they they are kept in in place. And is there they are more genuine, I believe, in terms of where where the the applaud applause is given to uh, not only the people that are nominated but happen to win. I I do think just by the nature of it, you know, when Fleetwood Mac had you know a Rumors album or whoever's out there now, it it's. It is one hell of a helping hand to, to be monstrously successful and, and therefore I think some of the, the absolute uh, judgmental on, on what is talent and what truly may, I think some things do slip through and I understand why, you know, I, th I think it's for us in these uh, categories that aren't heard about, I think there is a, a real sense that you're really getting something because it's not about we don't have a a million selling album or anything you know and mm -hmm. no one's no one really to any huge degrees outside of our circle uh, heard about the album we hope that they do and hope more people so it's a really different s setup mm -hmm. um and and I'm sort of it's quite again gratifying to, to be in that setup you sure, know sure. I think it maybe be a little bit more meaningful so, who would you like to see host the Grammys? You could pick anyone from any time. Who would you like to see be the host? Uh, I me. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I, I wouldn't mind doing it. I, I'd have uh, I'd have a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, I think you could do it. I think you did a good job. What category would you like to see added? Wow, there's so many. I can't even believe there isn't a category missing. But um, what's missing? Um, the kazoo. No, <laughs> I, I really don't know. Rick, is there no. some exotic uh, art form music that were that isn't acknowledged? It's pretty broad. Maybe like best well, surf rock album. You know, you could you could take apart a, ca a category like world music and and divide that in you know into a lot of different. But I don't know how many people actually you know listen to African music or Middle Eastern music or. Right, this right. type thing. Um, belly dance music. Belly dance music. There you go. Uh, favorite Grammy moment from years past. Did you get a Grammy? Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about that. Uh, favorite, favorite Grammy, Grammy moment. moment. Uh -huh. Well, one one was for sure getting a, a couple, or, or maybe it was a little bit more than that. I can't remember. Uh, and. It was it was fantastic. I I, I have to say that uh, I am a lot more down down the road in terms of, of time and, and growing up and so forth or trying to grow up. Um, I I actually think I'm a lot more aware of what it actually means. Not that we've won a, a Grammy, but been nominated this time with with Rick and and the band. Um, but the favorite, uh, you know. Was that you know, my mum and dad, you know the usual great stuff, mm -hmm. that all those years of slogging away in the garage somehow mm -hmm. made some sense. And I had great parents, but they were so happy, you know, because mm -hmm. it, it validated probably way more at that point to them than it did to me. That was back in the 70s, but uh, I think that would be the most valuable part of that was my parents saw my dream being validated, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. And that meant a lot to me and to them.